Hello viewers, welcome to the next section, testing and deploying an API with Tornado. In this section, we will learn about setting up unit tests, defining a first round of unit tests. Now we move on to the video, setting up unit tests. In this video, we will use Nose 2 to make it easier to discover and run unit tests. Also, we will install the Nose 2 and Cove Core packages in our virtual environment. Before you install Nose 2 and Cove Core packages, make sure you quit the Tornado's HTTP server. Remember that you just need to press Ctrl plus C in the terminal or command prompt window in which it is running. We just need to run the pip command to install the Nose 2 package that will also install the 6 dependency. The highlighted lines for the output will indicate that the Nose 2 package has been successfully installed. We just need to run another pip command to install the Cove Core package that will also install the coverage dependency. The highlighted lines for the output will indicate that the Cove Core package has been successfully installed. Open the previously created asyncapi.py file and remove the lines that create the web.application instance named application and the main method. After you remove the lines, add the new class application block of code into it. The code file for the sample is included in the RESTful Python section 04 folder. The code declares an application class, specifically a subclass of web.application that overrides the inherited constructor, that is, the init method. The constructor declares the handlers list that maps URL patterns to asynchronous request handlers and then calls the inherited constructor with the list as one of its arguments. Then the main method creates an instance of the application class, registers a periodic callback that will be executed every 500 milliseconds by the I.O. loop to make it possible to use Ctrl plus C to stop the HTTP server, and finally calls the start method. The async API.py script is going to continue working in the same way. The main difference is that we can reuse the application class in our tests. After making the changes, we will save the file now. Finally, create a new text file named .coverageRC within the Tornado01 folder, which is the virtual environment's root folder. Now we will add the async api.py and drone.py line of code into it. This way, the coverage utility will only consider the code in the async api.py and drone.py files. We will have the more accurate test coverage report with this settings file.